هايبر ثيرويد استكمالا لبقيه التوبيك المهمه في الـ في الثيرويد هايبر ثيرويديزم ان بريجنسي وي ماست نو ذا سيتويشن ذا سيتويشن از ذا هيومن كريونيك جراتريفين رايزنج اسوشيتد ويز ذيس ايرا اوف تشينجز اوف هرمون وي اول ماست نو ذا تي اس اتش دازنت باس ذا بلاسينتا سو كده سو نو هارم افكت But uh, the T4 and the levothyroxine is very important for the fetus development itself. The TSH uh, receptor antibody and iodine increase or decrease are associated with either um, hyperfunction or hyperfunction. What about the, the treatment uh, use or tool? The radioactive iodine can destruct the fetus uh, thyroid. The propyl serine and dimethylmazole have, have some uh, effect on the fetus and we will see it. The propranolol also have some effect, and we will see it. Uh, this is the percentage thyroid nodule. It's definitely with pregnancy the highest rate. Uh, the subclinical, as Dr. Agada said, is the uh, second in um, association with pregnancy, and then the overt hypo or hyperthyroidism come at the end of the list. Again, the guideline, as Prof. Heb said, the same. We use it as a guide because this is the last one. Uh, uh, available, comfortable, and uh, include all the knowledge. Uh, of course, hyperthyroidism of pregnancy is a very, very important harmful condition. Uh, what is the cause? Thyroid illness, as we know in the textbook, may be non-autoimmune thyroid disease, maybe gestational transient thyroid which is a benign condition, sometimes multiple gestation, sometimes some trophoplastic disease, uterine-like tumor, hyperplacentosis, hyperfunction placenta, Uh, ovarian uh, multicyst, the TSH receptor mutation, and this is a very rare TSH producing pituitary adenoma. Um, and the iatrogenic and some drug can cause this. What about the guideline told us? The guideline told us how to differentiate between the benign condition and the gravest disease. Very simple. In both, we will find TSH are low and we find uh, the T4 uh, are rising. But But according to the secret of the, of the hormone, if you find T4 more than T3, think of thyroid causes. If you find T3 more than T4, think of uh, uh, thyroid uh, uh, illness uh, itself. Of course, a trap go with Graves' disease, the trap, the TSH receptor antibody level. A medical history can help, as we see later on, the physical examination can help. Human chorionic gonadotropin measurement are of no value to differentiate, so don't use it. Radioactive iodine is totally forbidden in pregnant women. How can we differentiate between graves and this benign condition? To, uh, it's very important to give treatment or not to give treatment. Of course, if you have past history, family history of autoimmunity, if you have uh, a hyperthyroid picture, Uh, rising temperatures, feel hotness, uh, marked loss of weight, um, tremors, night sweat, all this go with more gravis than a gestation. Uh, you have a goiter of salmopsy, uh, the trap and TPO, both of them, not TPO only, TPO and the trap, both of them, if you find, or any one of them, go with gravis, not with uh, gestation. So again, to the guideline, how to treat, rehydrate the patient, treat the vomiting, anti-thyroid not recommended, beta blocker can be considered. Uh, what about the graves, the core of our uh, lecture, the, the graves is before pregnancy, you must sit with the family, sit with the uh, female and her husband, say that com about complexity of this disease and how that it affect our outcome. Of course, we must have a stable eusyroid before allowing pregnancy. The definition of a stable eusyroid means two reading one month apart by stable same dose of antithyroid. This is mean stable. If you find your reading stable in two or three month sequences, you can allow a pregnancy at that time. A treatment option before pregnancy, the three module are allowed. We can give radioactive. You can do a surgery, you can keep the medications. Radioactive prior to the pregnancy, first, uh, uh, it's not the common uh, tool to be used before pregnancy, but uh, if you have a high trap, please avoid the, avoid the radioactive. If you have a very young female, if you have severe form of grave disease, avoid uh, using this radioactive before pregnancy because the response is very poor. Um, you must do a pregnancy test, even routine, T4, 
في any child bearing woman even if you do a technician diagnostic tool uh, for isotope please do it pregnancy write it in, the, in your prescription the pregnancy must be delayed six months you must write a word for uh, for the female that you not allowed to be a pregnant for six months at least here in Egypt we sometimes give one year to be motor more comfortable to be the safe this is a complication of hyperthyroidism with pregnancy. That's why I told you from the, from the start, it's not an easy, easy mission. This is the list of the female, and this is the list of the fetus and the neonatal uh, outcome. I will not go through, but yeah, it's a very big list that affect our uh, 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 mother and uh, her fetus. What about the birth defect associated with the medication? Um, Misimazole, carpimazole are, are the same. Here in Egypt we have carpimazole and we have numericazole, the uh, um, other one, but misimazole, it's not common here in Egypt, but it's the same uh, metabolite like uh, for carpimazole. Uh, we have aplasia cutis, uh, uh, skin defect. Uh, I didn't see it in all my uh, life and even my professor uh, didn't see it, but if you have it, it's very not, uh, not that a big issue. Uh, conal atresia, we have conal atresia or esophageal atresia, but very rare. Uh, in omphalocele, um, there is no defect fi the proteinia the wall of the abdomen. Sometimes urinary tract malformation, eye disease, VSD, uh, some small acelia absent of nipple in male. Um, developmental uh, delay, all of these are uh, complications. Propyls are still have sinus, preauricular sinus, and urinary tract information. This is some of the side effect, which is very rare. Some side effect, basic side that we give to the students uh, um, uh, to uh, uh, know the side effect of the drug. Side effect of the drug, most of them, alhamdulillah, they are a uh, little bit. Uh, articaria, arthralgias. Um, sometimes uh, polyarthritis, uh, sometimes autoimmune disease, but the very hazardous or risky one that we are afraid of is the agranulocytosis, as we know that must we, uh, stop the medication and assess the condition. It usually occurs in the first three months after starting treatment. The liver effect of the drug is very well known to all of us. The misimazole cause cholestatic uh, dysfunction and uh, discontinuation will correct uh, the condition. Follow-up of the liver enzyme uh, is very important. El propyls are seen some two forms of liver. One of them are rising of liver enzyme, and sometimes it causes a very hazardous hepatic necrosis that even uh, need a liver transplant, which is very rare, but is very uh, dangerous to our patient. Again, back to the uh, guideline. Um, how to manage a, a, a grave is during pregnancy. To manage it, we must first confirm the pregnancy, of course. We know the doses to be used in the pregnancies, uh, and the beta blocker is allowed, but please, for a short period, from two to six weeks only, to avoid the hazard of propranolol, uh, which is one of the allowed beta blocker during pregnancy, give it for short time to avoid the intrauterine gross retardation, hypoglycemia, and fetal bradycardias. Uh, so, if your patients have uh, uh, controlled uh, uh, thyroid profile on a minimal dose of misimazole, in such a case, uh, the physician should consider discontinuing this medication and follow up by TRAP and uh, doing the function later on. So you can go your, in your pregnancy as if uh, we stop that medication and follow up even um, uh, outside the box, we use it more frequently every two weeks. Once we stable, you can every four weeks. Uh, at each assessment, you must assess the clinical and the biochemical. If your patient need a high dose to control her, keep the medication. The guideline told us that propyl cyrocyl can be the safest one in the first uh, uh, trimester, uh, 16 weeks. Um, the old uh, belief before these guidelines that propyl cyrocyl must be all over uh, the pregnancy, but in this guideline, according to some evidence that uh, collected at that time, they said you can give propyl cyrocyl during the early pregnancy and once uh, the 16 weeks end, you can use misimazole or keep propyl cyrocyl. But this statement is very important. They said. After 16 weeks, it's unclear whether 
shifting from propulsor seal and mesimazole helping your patient because you may lose your control in your patients. That's why it's left to your uh, decision. Uh, what about the principle of testing uh, our patient during pregnancy? Well, of course, the same every two to four weeks, and we can extend every uh, four to six weeks. Uh, we need our target as in diabetes, our target the blood pressure, our target in LDL dyslipidemia. Of course, we have a target in uh, 3T4, keep it please in the upper uh, limit uh, in the reference range to avoid the, the fetal uh, hyper, uh, goiter and hypothyroidism. A combination uh, uh, to give LT4 and anthyroid is not recommended at all in all medicine except in this situation which is isolated fetal hyperthyroidism. In isolated fetal hyperthyroidism, you can give antithyroid to treat the fetal hyper thyroidism and you give the LT4 for the mother. What about thyroidectomy? It's allowed in the second trimester if the medication is contraindication or if the medication is of no value, uh, especially if the trap is three times and the fetal hyperthyroidism is uh, present. The trap uh, is very important to differentiate between the graves and physiological. It's ele elevated usually means graves disease. And the follow-up, again, like gestational diabetes, we need a timing to search for the trap. They recommend to search it in the 18, 22 weeks, and then repeat again in um, uh, 30 to 40 to 34 weeks again to have another look, especially if it is elevated. A uh, take-home uh, protocol, again, it's, it's conclusion of all the lecture as I have said. Preconception, you have the three module. You can give radioactive, you can have thyroidectomy, you have anti drug. Uh, first trimester, please use propyl thyroseal. And tell your patient that the propyl thyroseal is, uh, is uh, uh, not used the drug nowadays except in two conditions. If you have thyrotoxic crisis because the conversion or in pregnancy because it is safer than in misimazole or carbamazole. Second trimester, we continue the same management. Either keep the propyl thyroid or you can shift to misimazole. In third trimester, continue again on your medication and then do a trap. Have you, have, have you seen the side uh, box in the 32 weeks? The trap negative and the trap positive. Uh, if you have trap negative with you thyroid, in this condition, consider discontinuation of your medication and postpartum, as, uh, as we said before, we can keep either medication uh, uh, for our uh, lady or you can stop if it is eosyroid and the trap negative. If it is trap negative with hyperthyroidism, the same as trap positive, in this condition, you continue the medication, postpartum, continue the medication and keep eye on the uh, thyroid profile. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.